For this video, we're going to look at uh, making a dried specimen in uh, silica gel. So I have a plant here that's been cleaned and it's in tap water right now and I'm ready to transfer it over, but I just want to start with the wet specimen and show you how we're going to dry it out. The important parts here, are we're going to dry it out quickly. So there's this uh, material called silica gel. This is an indicating type. Uh, it's a mixture of indicating and non-indicating. So this one's in kind of an amber color. Uh, there's another one that's also in blue and they change color if they get wet. So silica gel is a desiccant. It dries out what you're going to be trying to dry uh, fairly quickly. And then once the material is dry, it also keeps it dry. And that's a really nice way to keep stable DNA. So uh, dry material lasts for a long time, uh, ships well, and uh, keeps the DNA well preserved. So basically, uh, as you might imagine, we've got to dry out this wet plant as much as possible. So we've got the water that's on the outside and water that's on the inside. Uh, as far as taking care of the water on the outside, we're going to blot this as much as we can. So just a paper towel, surface blotting. And uh, for drying aquatic plants or any plant, uh, we want to sort of fight back against the plant's ability to preserve its own moisture. So uh, I'm going to cut this into a few pieces, just sort of snip it here and there with my fingers. Uh, by creating a wound there, basically I'm, I'm isolating this bit and it's got places where the water can drain out or uh, can, can uh, diffuse out into the desiccant and dry this out pretty well. Um, if I put this whole thing together, the stem of this plant might be able to retain some moisture and transfer that to the leaves and so on, and it might delay the drying process. Uh, the faster we dry this, the better for the DNA quality. We want to kind of surprise the cells by taking their moisture away. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to do uh, three pieces like this. This is a water mill foil. Um, it feels uh, sort of damp to the touch, um, but otherwise pretty, pretty dry. And I'm just going to take these pieces and put them straight into the desiccant. Uh, as far as how much desiccant, this is probably a lot, uh, maybe a little overkill, but uh, I was trying to think of a good way to get the, the right measurement, and uh, it laid this zip bag on its side, and I, I kind of pressed the layer flat, and a uh, flat layer of the, the silica beads kind of take up half or two-thirds of this bag. Um, you want to sort of manage the ratio of plant material to desiccant. So uh, you want to actually put a small amount, relatively small amount, into the bag uh, relative to these desiccant beads. You can overwhelm them if you put too much moisture in. If you put a plant that's already wet into this bag, uh, then it can uh, kind of overwhelm the ability of these silica beads to absorb the moisture and the plant won't be dry uh, when it arrives. Uh, another possibility is that the, the whole situation is just too moist and uh, the plants don't arrive dried. Okay, so I'm just gonna open this up and put these pieces in. Uh, this is one way to do it. Um, this water mill foil is kind of prone to fragmenting. So um, probably a good chance when this arrives that I would have uh, leaves that I can grab and, and use. Uh, you'll notice as from previous videos, uh, the green growing tip is a really valuable part for good quality DNA. And I'm just gonna slide those in and seal this up and uh, this one could be good to go as it is uh, another alternative uh, maybe i'll just show you the the material uh, another alternative this uh, kind of protects the material from coming into contact with the silica beads uh, not the most important thing but uh, kind of keeps everything in one place so if you have a plant that's more likely to fragment or you just want to kind of be assured that your material is going to stay in there uh, a paper uh, coin envelope like this one is pretty good. This is uh, permeable, so it can uh, dry out in the desiccant. Uh, so the alternative would be to take that starting material, blot it, put it into the coin purse. Uh, this will also press things flat. And then just put this one into the uh, zip container with the uh, desiccant. And then, of course, as I've also illustrated, uh, keep everything labeled well so that we can match your specimens with the records uh, when they arrive.